Hello all you beautiful people, how you doing today? This is Lava Tim Tristan, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, welcome, hi! So today we're going to be talking about May's Humble Choice. All the different games there are and what all you can look forward to. I'm actually very excited for this month. Um, there, uh, I, first of all, I don't have any of these games yet, so yay, bonus! But second of all, um, you get to all 12 games again as long as you are a premium or classic subscriber. So you don't have to drop any, which is nice. It is $269 worth of games. According to Humble, I did come up with a little bit of a different amount. Uh, but we will get into that. Also, don't forget, um, this is just uh, what you can expect from each game. This is all the full details for you but i will have a full review on each game starting tomorrow so look forward to that okay so the first game we have today is metro exodus it is by 4a games and it is published by deep silver this game is normally at 39.99 It was released February 14th, 2019, so not too long ago. It is a single player game, but it does have full controller support. It allows remote play on the phone, tablet, or TV. So this game is set in a post-apocalyptic type world, obviously. Uh, it's very atmospheric, it has action, and it is very, very story-rich. So for this game, the year is 2036, a quarter century after nuclear war devastated the Earth. A few thousand survivors still cling to existence beneath the ruins of Moscow and the tunnels of the metro. They have struggled against the poisonous elements, fought mutated beasts and paranormal horrors, and suffered the flames of civil war. But now as Artyom, you must flee the metro and lead a band of Spartan rangers on the incredible continent spanning journey across post-apocalyptic Russia in search of a new life in the east. Metro Exodus is an epic, story-driven first-person shooter from 4A games that blends deadly combat and stealth with exploration and survival horror in one of the most immersive game worlds ever created. Explore the Russian wilderness across vast, non-linear levels and follow a thrilling storyline that spans an entire year through spring, summer, and autumn to the depths of nuclear winter. This is inspired by the novels of Dmitry Glukomvansky. Metro Exodus continues Atrium's story and the greatest metro adventure. It does feature a mature content warning due to blood and gore, intense violence, partial nudity, sexual themes, strong language, and use of drugs. It does have very positive reviews out of 46,724. Ooh, that's a lot. It features 68 Steam achievements. Time to beat for main story is 15 hours. Main plus extras is 22 and a half hours. And completionist is 36 and a half hours. This game looks very very good i am actually very excited to try this one i already had it on my wish list so yay so starts off my bundle pretty awesome so i'm excited the second game we have today is darksiders genesis it is by airship syndicate and published by thq this game is normally 29.99 it was released December 5th, 2019, so not too long ago. 
It is a single player game with full controller support, online co-op. It also features remote play on the phone, tablet, TV, and allows remote play together. This one is an action adventure hack and slash co-op RPG style game. So Darksiders Genesis is an action adventure game that tears its way through hordes of demons, angels, and everything in between on its way to hell and back with guns blazing and swords swinging. Genesis gives players their first look at the world of Darksiders before the events of the original game. Furthermore, it introduces the fourth and last horseman, Strife, as well as co-op gameplay for the first time in the history of the franchise. Blast angels and demons as the gunslinging horseman strife play both for the first time. Swap between powerful swordsman war and strife instantly in frenetic single player gameplay. Explore the epic world of Darksiders and wreak havoc with a friend in two player cooperative mode. Experience a brand new story campaign that takes place before the original Darksiders. Exploring the original of the Seven Seal. Grow in strength and power as you collect items, abilities, weapon enhancements, creature cores, and more. This one is rated teen for blood and gore, language, and violence. It does have mostly positive reviews out of 5,984. It does include 30 Steam achievements. Time to beat on this one is 14 hours for the main. Main plus extras is 20 hours, and if for full completionists, it is 29 hours. Um, so this game actually looks pretty awesome. The graphics on it look amazing. The gameplay style looks amazing. I am very excited to try this one out, and I can't wait. Third game we have this month is Hellpoint by Cradle Games and published by Tiny Build. This game is normally $34.99. It was just released July 30th, 2020, so just almost a year old. Controller is highly recommended for this game, so keep that in mind. This one is a single player with full controller support. You can also do online co-op or PvP. It also allows remote play on TV and remote play together. This one is a Souls-like style game, action, sci-fi, RPG. Hellpoint is a dark and challenging action RPG set in the heavily atmospheric sci-fi universe, where the line between science and occultism is blurred. Once a pinnacle of human achievement, the... Arid Novo space station has fallen. Its ruins are now overrun by cruel interdimensional entities acting as puppets of the malevolent cosmic gods. You've been created by the author. Originally printed on the Arid Novo and sent on a mission to find out the unholy series of events that led to the catastrophic incident known as the Merge. Arid Novo is a massive interconnected world full of mysteries, hidden passages, and secrets within secrets. All for you to explore in any order you like. More dead and shivers awaits as you travel deeper into the darkest corners of this forsaken colony. There are dozens of melee and ranged weapons and armor pieces to suit your playstyle. Every weapon has unique special abilities that unlock the more you fight with them. It features a fascinating new sci-fi universe reminiscent of classic sci-fi movies, set in the aftermath of a massive quantum catalysm and complete with a deep and goosebump-inducing soundtrack. The space station orbits in real time and around an ominous black hole that triggers various dynamic events such as boss appearances, horde assaults, as well as modified enemy stats and positions. If you are struggling, ask a friend to press start to join a couch co-op session, or call for assistance online. The entire game can be completed uninterrupted in co-op. The loot is shared, and the experience of local player 2 is saved and not watered down. 
This one does feature a mature content warning due to violence or gore and general mature content. It has mostly positive reviews out of 1,665, so not a ton of reviews. It does include 32 Steam achievements. Time to beat on this one for the main story is 14 and a half hours. Main plus extras is 21 and a half hours. And completionist is 30 and a half hours. This one looks pretty cool. I'm excited to try it out. Uh, so far, the top three ones for me are a winner. I can't wait to try them. The fourth game we have today is called Cook, Serve, Delicious number three by Vertigo Gaming Inc. Now, this is actually cool. I already have one and two, so this one looks like it'll be fun. It is normally $19.99. It was released October 14th, 2020, so not too long ago. This one's kind of cool because you can do single player or shared split screen co-op with full controller support. It also offers remote play on phone, tablet, or TV, and remote play together. This one is considered a typing, casual, management, difficult, arcade style game. Hit the road in this massive sequel to the million selling Cook, Serve, Delicious series as you travel across the United States to participate in the Iron Cook Food Truck Championships with your trusty robot crew, Whisk and Cleaver. Set in the radically changed war-torn America of 2042, play through an all-new story-driven campaign where you cook hundreds of foods, including many brand new to the series. Across hundreds of levels in the new gameplay structure that has been completely redesigned to deliver fast-paced action, or take it easy with the all-new chill mode that can be toggled on or off at any time. So play through the campaign via single player or with a friend in local co-op, with the ability to change on the fly. This game features overwhelmingly positive reviews, but it's only out of 1,067, so not a ton, but not to like really tiny amount either, so. It features 57 Steam achievements. And time to complete for the main story is 45 and a half hours. Main plus extras is 54 and a half hours. And if you're going for full completionist, it's 90 hours. Nice. I can't wait to try this one out. Next up, we have Levelhead by Butterscratch Shenanigans. This one is normally $19.99. It was released April 30th, 2020, so not too long ago. It is a single player, or you can do shared split screen co op. It has full controller support and offers remote play together. This one is classified as a precision platformer, difficult and very funny. So, with this one, as a new employee of the Level Head Division, you are responsible for training your very own CR18 delivery robot for every possible delivery scenario. Create levels or limited exercise for evaluating employee limitations with the intuitive level editor in the workshop, then publish them for the whole world to experience. Build incredible contraptions and machines, craft adventurous expeditions that require brain and brawn to complete, or just create a relaxing music scene for other level heads to chill with. Once you've completed your level, share it with the rest of the world and gain a following. The level head division comes equipped with powerful curation and following systems, so you'll always be able to find the best new levels created by your colleagues. This one features overwhelmingly positive reviews, but it's only out of 566. It does include 44 Steam achievements. Time to complete on this one it, for the main story is 6 hours, main plus extra is 9 hours, and completionist is 41 hours. Very nice. Game number 6 this month is Fury Unleashed by Awesome Game Studios. It is normally $9.99, and it was released May 8th, 2020. 
This one is a single player, or you can do shared split screen co-op. It has full controller support and offers remote play on TV and remote play together. It is an action uh, roguelike 2D and has tons of replay value. Fury Unleash was created by combining inspiration from modern roguelike platformers like Dead Cells and Rogue League with nostalgic memories of old-school platform shooters like Contra and Metal Slug. We have spent five years polishing our creation to make sure that your experience with the game will be as memorable as, as those titles that we really believe that you won't be disappointed. Explore the pages of a living comic book where ink is your most valuable resource and each room is a comic panel. Find out why is John Krolowski, author of acclaimed Fury Unleash, series having a creativity crisis and see if you can help him deal with it. This one does have a T for teen rating due to violence, blood, and gore. Features very positive reviews out of 653, so not a ton, but you know, it's got some. It includes 47 Steam achievements. Time to complete on this one for main story is 8 hours, main plus extra is 22 hours, and completionist is 30 hours. This one looks like it could be some classic fun gameplay. Game number 7 this month is Size Matters by Mason Games and published by Grab the Games. It is normally $9.99. It was released March 12th. 2021 and it is a single player game. This one is a simulation indie casual science educational style game. So in Size Matters you take on the role of a scientist who has unintentionally ingested a chemical which causes him to shrink every second. As you shrink, getting around the laboratory gets trickier, with the game essentially turning into a platformer as you figure out ways to climb up onto where the equipment and the ingredients are located. Using the equipment, you need to manage to make an antidote in a limited time, before you shrink completely. Go through the formulas you find and follow them accurately. Operate equipment such as the chemical processor, the reverter, code combiner, antidote producer, and more. But beware, your time is very precious. You need to process ingredients using lab equipment, all while searching for missing components or rearranging the lab so you're able to reach stuff when you're smaller. This one features very positive reviews, but there's only 53. It does include 57 Steam achievements. This one I do not have game time to beat. Uh, it is too new since it was just released, so hopefully we'll get that soon. But this one does look like it's going to be a lot of fun and I can't wait to try it out. Game number 8 this month is Morkrid by Hyper Games, published by Asper. So this one is normally $19.99. It was released December 10th, 2020. It is a single player or shared split screen co-op with partial controller support, offers remote play together. It is a physics puzzle, dark local co-op exploration style game. Morkrid is a tense physics based co-op puzzle game for one or two players, combining skill based puzzle solving, a challenging balance of light and shadow, and a dark world full of secrets to unlock. It has very positive reviews, but there's only 18. It does include 22 Steam achievements. Time to beat on this one for the main story is two and a half hours, main plus extras is three hours, and for full completionists, it is four and a half hours. This one looks mm, interesting. I'll be interested to see how this one's gonna work out. Game number 9 is Relicta by Mighty Polygon, published by Raven's Court. It is normally $19.99. It was released August 3rd, 2020. It is a single player and has full controller support. This one is an action puzzle platformer casual exploration style game. 
Relicta is a first-person physics-based puzzle game where you need to creatively combine magnetism and gravity in order to unravel the secrets of Chandra Bates. Alone in the treacherous depths of the moon, your scientific mind is the only thing that keep, can keep your daughter alive. Play as a top physics stranded on an eerie, derelict moon base. Find your way around the enigmatic, terraformed craters by bending gravity and magnetism to your will in order to solve physical puzzles. Will you rush straight ahead and try to reach safety? Or will you take your time to gather clues and unravel the intrigues of 22nd century orbital politics? Buried in the eternal darkness of the lunar craters lies a secret that might claim your daughter's life or change the fate of humanity forever. Are you ready to face the ultimate consequences of your research? This one does feature very positive reviews, but there's only 107. It includes 40 Steam achievements. Time to complete on this one for main story is 12 hours. Main plus extras is 15 and a half hours, and completionist is 18 hours. This one looks kind of fun. Game number 10 for this month is Retimed by Team Maniacs, published by Stray Fawn Studio and Whisper Games. This one is normally $14.99. It was released December 5th, 2019, so a couple years. It is single player or shared split screen co op with full controller support. It also offers remote play together. It is a funny casual shooter multiplayer game. Retimed is a multiplayer arena shooter for one to four players with slow motion. When a player is in danger, time slows down and a time bubble is created around the player. Now there is enough time to react and try to dodge the deadly projectiles. These time bubbles generate exciting alterations between fast-paced movements and tension-filled slow-motion movements. It features very positive reviews, but only out of 104. It does include 71 Steam achievements, and there really is no time to beat because there's unlimited play. This one... Not sure if I'm looking forward. It looks very interesting, but sometimes these multiplayer fast action, um, you can only play so many of them. But with the slow motion part, it might add enough in differentiating interest for me to enjoy it. I don't know. We'll have to see. Game number 11 is Family Man by Broken Bear Games, published by No More Robots. This one is normally $19.99. There is a free prologue available on Steam. It was released May 22nd, 2020. It is a single player game and does have full controller support. So this one is an adventure RPG violent first person FPS. Family Man is a dark story-led RPG that asks the question, when pushed to the limits of your own morality, how far would you go for the sake of your family? You owe money to the mob and you've got three weeks to pay it back. Will you flip burgers and earn an honest living while scraping the money together? Or will you take on some dirty jobs for more cash, but potentially push your family away? Every decision you make affects everyone around you. The neighborhood will blossom or perish under the weight of your decisions. While the path you choose may lead to your household becoming stronger than ever, or the breakdown of your marriage and relationship with your child. This one does have very positive reviews out of 204. There are 32 Steam achievements. And this one, we do not actually have a time to beat, so I don't know. But I do have to say, um, the simplistic graphics on this one are kind of nice. So I'm actually looking forward to trying this and seeing what we think. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Last game we have for this month is Vane. 
by Friend and Foe Games, published by Gamera Game. It is normally $19.99. It was released July 22nd, 2019, so a couple years. It is a single player with full controller support. It also offers remote play on TV. It is an action, adventure, indie, casual exploration. In a ruined desert, a strange golden dust transforms a free-spirited bird into a determined young child, setting off a chain of events that will reshape the world itself. Set out on an exploratory quest, transforming between bird and child, using both perspectives to unravel the land's mysteries and create a path towards the barren landscape. As you do so, the world reacts to your passage, evolving and building into something altogether different. From the team at Friend Info Games, Vane is a stunning, emotional, and unnerving experience. Developed with the conviction that players should find their own path through the world, the result is a minimalistic, stark environment that encourages exploration just to the edge of getting lost. It does feature mixed reviews out of 118, includes 18 Steam achievements, time to beat for the main story is 2.5 hours, main plus extras is 3.5 hours, and completionist is 5 hours. This one looks very different, uh, a bit more simplistic, even in the playstyle. So I don't know, this one's going to be a little bit interesting. It looks like it could be okay, but it's one of those that it's kind of hard to tell just by looking at it. Okay, so that actually brings our total for this month to $259.88, which is a little bit different. It's $10 off. Uh, from what they evaluated it at. I don't know if they added on maybe a soundtrack or something, but that's what I got. Don't forget the bonus game for this month is Summertime Madness. This month's charity is Active Minds. 5% goes to that. And don't forget about Humble Trove for active subscribers. Um, the new games are added every month, but don't forget... Once you download those games, they are for yours forever to keep, but they're not always on there. So if it's a game you want, make sure you download it. All right. Let me know what you think of this month's. Do you have a certain favorite one? I think, honestly, the first three are the ones I am most excited for. Uh, of course, I already had Metro Exodus on my wish list, so I'm very excited to have that one this month. Darksiders Genesis looks awesome. I can't wait to play that. And of course, Hellpoint. I think those are my top three for this month. But of course, we'll have to wait until we actually try them out. If you want to keep seeing my content, don't forget to hit the like button on the video and then subscribe button with the notification bell. That way you'll actually get a notification every time a video comes out. Alright, thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate you guys. Until next time, this love attempt to don't get burned.